Today's blogging video is talking all about how I made my first dollar blogging, which then leads into a few of my other points on just the things that you need to focus on when you first start your blog to eventually get to that first dollar in the fastest way I think that you can earn that first dollar. How many times can I say first dollar? But basically this video is all about the number one things that I focused on to start making money right when I started my blog. So a little background, I started my blog by sophialee.com when I was going into my sophomore year of college. Yesterday was our five year anniversary, which is insane. So now I've officially had this website for five years, but I treated it like a business from the very beginning. It was not something that I was like, oh, this is fun, just a fun little hobby. I was like, no, this will be my job. This will be my business. This will be my career eventually. Not necessarily have the blog be my career, but allow it to be my stepping stone to the career that I want, which a blog is such an amazing marketing engine that it can really help you get there. And that was why I put such an importance on it. Also, I was a college student. I was paying for college completely on my own. And I was seeing how some mommy bloggers who were staying at home with their kids were making $100,000 a month on their blog. And I was like, okay, if they can do that with kids running around them and being a stay-at-home mom, then I can do that out of my dorm room and that's exactly what I did. And now the business earns over seven figures a year, which is insane. Um, and I've learned so much along the way. And so this YouTube channel is kind of just my place to give some of my best blogging tips, what I did right, what I did wrong, what I think you should do now, five years later, um, and kind of expand on that. So this video is extra fun because I get to talk to you about ad agencies. And ad agencies is probably, for the majority of bloggers, the first way that they make money was the first way that I made money and there are multiple different levels of ad agencies. So even right when you first initially start your blog, there's ad, ag ad agencies that you can get into and then there's some higher ones that you have to apply to and then it keeps going up from there and there. And as you get higher ones, you increase your earnings. So let me dive into it a little bit. Okay, so when I first started my blog, I pretty much immediately applied to Google Ads. Google Ads is one of the most basic ads that there is out there. It does not make you a lot of money, but it does make you some money. So like even initially when I would like make 25 cents a day, I would be like, oh my God, it's 25 cents a day. And I would be so excited. And the reason why I went with Google Ads is because it's really easy to apply to, probably the easiest out of them all. I do know that Google ad network has gotten a little more strict with it um so again it's been five years since i did that that's something that there is for sure a ton of articles out there online about um, but i know that that still is one of the easiest ones to get into and is probably one of the first places that you can start making that dollar or two so when i got into google ads and i started to make a little bit of money like i said a little bit of money it started piquing my interest to kind of explore the ad route more. And I would be in blogging courses and Facebook groups and they would talk about these different ad networks um, that you could make a lot more money in. So some of the biggest ones are Mediavine and AdSense. And basically how everyone would talk about them, which is very true now that I'm in it, is that it is a dramatic increase from Google ads to that next level of ad money. And it basically, I mean, like thousands of dollars. Like if you make $7, okay, this is like, don't take this one to heart because I'm literally pulling this out one out. But let's just say theoretically, you made like $7 in Google ads, it would be like $35, $50 on Mediavine, um, which can add up to being so much more money. So when I got in to, or when I was trying to get into Mediavine or AdSense, I decided to go with Mediavine. So I started with Google Ads, then I went to Mediavine. And Mediavine was, um, at that time, you were required to have 25,000 sessions to then apply. And it wasn't just 
page views, it was sessions. So those two are different things. It's easier to get page views, it's harder to get sessions. And so that was something that I had to work really, really hard on. Which then also made me realize that to get those sessions, I needed people on the website. And what is the easiest way to get people on the website? Pinterest, which is why I harp so much that you need to get on Pinterest ASAP when you start a blog. I think that it is one of the most important things. Plug, I have a Pinterest course if you want it, but also you could just do your own research, but the Pinterest course goes over everything that I do to get hundreds of thousands of people on my website a month from Pinterest. But nonetheless, I quickly realized that I needed more and more people to the website. The fastest way that I could do that is through Pinterest. And so I put a huge emphasis that first year on just strictly getting page views so that then I could apply to Mediavine. So a little funny story with Mediavine. The first time I applied to Mediavine, I had a viral blog post. It was around a holiday. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I got 25,000 sessions. Like I'm applying. So I applied and I very quickly got rejected um, and denied from the program because they make you do a ton of, you can't just have one single post go viral. You need to have basically like a well-rounded website. So you needed to have multiple posts. It couldn't just be a one hit wonder situation. So that's also something to think about. Like if you do happen to get lucky, that's incredible, but it's not something that necessarily will get you accepted into that ad network that you're trying to get into. So I've now been, I think I got into, it was a year and a half after starting my, or maybe it was just, was it a year and a half? It was either a year and a half or a year-ish after starting my blog that I got into Mediavine. So again, I immediately applied to Google AdSense, which is what I believe that you should do. And then I applied to um, Mediavine, got rejected, applied again and then got into it. Another lesson to keep going, even if you fail. I mean, it sucked for about five minutes then, and then I was like, all right, now you know what you need to do, like, let's make it happen. Um, and I've been with uh, I've been with Mediavine for the last four years now-ish. So I did look into like um, AdSense, which is the other one. Um, now there's uh, multiple different ad platforms out there like Monu Metric, which I know in our Facebook group that I have for my courses, a lot of people talk about that one in there. So there are multiple different ad networks that you could go into. I think the most important and valuable thing from this video is that ads is probably the easiest way that you will make money when starting your blog initially. And so that's something that you should really put a focus on and emphasis as you get your blog going. Um, so that is a little bit about the ad world. I could dive so much deeper. There's like so much that you can talk about, about the ads, about how to get the most amount of page views, um, kind of all of that. But because I have it in my perfecting blogging course, I'm trying to keep this a little more, um, you know, base level, because obviously that'd be mean or rude. And like, you get what I'm trying to say. But that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed and kind of just helped you like get a little bit more clear on ads and the direction that is the easiest way to make money on your blog. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do a video every single week. Um, and also the email newsletter. I send out a blogging email newsletter with my top tips and tricks and anything that is happening or anything that I'm changing or think that you should know, I put it in there. But that wraps up this video. So I hope I will see you at next week's blogging video.